now that we know who gautam buddha was and his various other teachings let us see how these teachings reached different people and people started following buddhism in fact today 535 million people follow buddhism all across the world so let's see how that happened so as we already found out that buddha was born and raised in a royal family and so he used to speak in sanskrit language at that point of time in india most of the rich people or the upper caste people used to talk in sanskrit this was also the language that the vedas were written in which are an important part or important texts in hinduism so all the important texts in hinduism were written in sanskrit which the rich people were able to read and understand and so they were considered closer to god whereas the common people of that time used to speak in another language which was pali and so these people felt left out and felt far away from their god so now what happened is that when buddha came he started preaching all of his different teachings and theories in the language of the common people that was pali and so what happened all of these people from belonging to the lower classes started getting attracted towards buddhism because it did not have the language barrier that was there in hinduism and so this is how buddhism spread to the common people and so it is important to note that later on all the buddhist texts were written in pali you see buddha passed away at the age of 80 in 483 bce well take a look at this picture here this is in fact the ramabhar stupa which is there in gorakhpur uttar pradesh and this is in fact the place that it is believed that buddha actually gained parinirvana here so what does parinirvana mean parinirvana basically means death so this is the place that he gained parinirvana in and so it is a very important site for buddhists so a lot of people visited every year after the death of buddha what happened is that the monks or the buddhist followers started preaching about different theories and teachings of the buddha orally and so for 500 years all of his teachings were passed down from one generation to the next orally afterwards 500 years later what happened is that important texts were written down these were the tripitakas which mean three baskets and other than that there was also the jataka tales which has the birth story of buddha in it along with 500 tales of buddha in various different life forms like in the form of animals so it must be a really fascinating read right Now let us go on a virtual tour and understand how Buddhism spread all across the globe. Well, it all started with the birth of Buddha in Nepal. Then, 80 years later, he died in Kushinagar in India. Now, King Ashoka was responsible for the spread of Buddhism here in India. Later on, the third council meeting of the Buddhists took place, and after this, the fourth council meeting of the Buddhists took place, which gave birth. to a new sect in buddhism known as the mahayana sect now we can see how buddhism has now reached china and through different silk routes it is now reaching different part of central asia soon we also see how it has reached afghanistan we can also see how it has come back to india and then later on also spread to korea and then japan and finally all across the globe so as we already saw that king ashoka of the mauryan dynasty was responsible for flourishing buddhism in india but how did he do that well firstly he was the first king to embrace buddhism here in india in fact he even built stupas and pillars like the one which you can see here to prove his devotion take a look at this picture here this is the sanchi stupa which is there in madhya pradesh which was built by ashoka himself other than that several monasteries were also made monasteries are places where monks would stay later on these monasteries turned into universities where buddhist art literature and philosophy buddhist scriptures were taught one of these is nalanda which you can even see in the image and the other one is taxila apart from these two there was another important educational center which was set up at gaya which is in bihar right so 
other than uh, philosophy and scriptures they were also taught about logic and architecture right and these educational institutions also attracted several foreign students because of which also buddhism spread all throughout the world so today we have learned that buddhism was founded by gautama buddha more than 2500 years ago right and in today's world it is followed in countries like bhutan myanmar cambodia tibet laos and many of these other countries as well right so from that we can understand that a religion that was founded right here in our indian subcontinent spread all throughout the world in fact today it is the fourth largest religion in the whole world don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now